Hello my friends, my name is LazyJet and welcome back to Train Simulator Classic and today, yes you've guessed it, we are back doing another Train Simulator Classic race. And today we have got three of the greatest of Caledonian Works' locomotives. Representing Team LMS we have got the Princess Class, Princess Elizabeth. Representing Team LNER, we have one of my favourite steam engines in the world, the Flying Scotsman. And representing GWR, the Great Western Railway, we have the mighty King Class, King Edward II in a lovely BR Blue. Very nice indeed. And all three of these engines are made by Caledonian Works, and I want to say, like, you know, Caledonian Works do make like some of the greatest stuff um, in Train Simulator so uh, I'll leave a link to the website in the description below if you guys want to buy um, any of Caledonian Works products uh, I highly recommend them they've got great sound effects great detail oh you'd love it it's amazing so it's team GWR versus team LNER and team LMS which one of these three will be victorious uh, which one do you guys think is going to win leave your answer in the comment section down below uh, who do you think is going to win guys let me know in the, uh, in, the, in, the, in, the, in the comment section down below and if you're new to the Lazy Jet YouTube channel why not consider subscribing turn the bell notification as well so stay notified to the channel it's just a click of a button because we're very close to a hundred thousand subscribers <laughs> right then let's play some train sim yeah So here we are in the world editor and uh, I think we should program these amazing steam engines to do about ooh, maybe 130% power. I think that's a great idea. So let's have a look and see where we are. So uh, I think it's train. Oh, I can't actually see um, what train it is. I might have to move it forward a little bit. So this is train uh, number one. And looking up on the map, we need it to go uh, here. So plat so engine number one on platform uh, 30. And then we'll have you at 130% power. And then uh, engine, uh, I think it's engine two, but I want to make sure in case we don't make any mistakes. Uh, I think it's engine two. It looks like engine two. So if I make engine two, uh, put it on this line, destination 18. So if we try and find that, destination 18, see if that works. Uh, it looks like it's worked uh, and have you on 130% power. And let me just go back to engine number one to see if that's okay. Yeah, that looks fine. That looks fine. Then engine four on destination 19. I think that looks about right. And then have you on 130% power as well. And then just check uh, engine two to see if that's all good. Yep. That looks good. Everything looks good. Right. Excellent. So there we are. They're all pro 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 programmed. So make them all line up um, properly. Um, yeah, that's roughly lined up. And as always, I'm going to be driving the Superclass 47. This is very exciting. So uh, uh, I think uh, well, there's n nothing to it, really. Let's just click play and let the racing begin. So uh, are you sure you want to click save? Yes, I am very sure. Let the racing begin. And they're away. It's a bit of a slow start, but like, you know, it, it might get faster. We don't know. Uh, the game mode might be a bit too loud, so I might turn the game volume down just a little bit. But they're off, and it looks like the King Class, representing Team Great Western Railway, is got the uh, the lead at the moment, followed by uh, the Team LMS, which is uh, Princess Elizabeth. Flying Scotsman is in uh, last place, which, you know, is not very good, but, like, you know, it might catch up. We don't know. So let's switch to the Superclass 47. Lights on. Brakes off. And I think I'm ready to go. So let's have a look. The uh, the King class, King um, Edward II, just making a bit of a weird clunking sound, uh, is in first place. And in second place is Princess Elizabeth. 
And in last place, no wait, no, first place, second place, and third place. I think I might got a bit confused, I'm not sure. But yeah, the king class is in first place. Um, princess class is in second. And the LNER A3 class, Flying Scotsman, is in third. So right now it is a bit of a slow start, but um, they, might pick, they might pick up some speed. I'm going to get like a nice shot of Scotsman. Oh, Scotsman does look nice. I have to say, like, Caledonian Works, you've done an amazing job. Not just on Flying Scotsman, but, like, um, like your other creations, like the Princess Class and the King Class. You have done, like, a, an amazing job. And, um, yeah, um, you, 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 you've you won me over completely. I mean, I absolutely love your work. And uh, I want to say to Caledonian Works, keep up the amazing work you guys are doing. You're absolutely brilliant. And um, who knows, maybe they might uh, make a Class A4 in the future. Well, we don't know, but, like, you know, um, if they do... I bet it would look amazing. So what we're going to do is we're going to leave Flying Scotsman uh, in third place and have a look and see how Princess Elizabeth is doing. So apply my brakes just a little bit more. A little bit more. Oh, a bit too much. Oh, with a little bit of lag. Oh, no, it sorted itself out. Uh, Princess Elizabeth looking good. Doing about 68, 69, maybe 70 miles per hour-ish. I mean, we're at 70.2. And it looks like the uh, Princess class is speeding up. And it is. And oh, my God, it just looks amazing. Oh, I do. I do. I, I mean, I'm not a big fan of LMS trains. But I've got to say, like, you know, the Princess class is a really nice engine. And what we'll do now is we'll say goodbye to Princess Elizabeth because we need to catch up to the leader, which is King... I think it's King Edward II, the uh, the King class. Um, he has got quite a good lead, the uh, the King class, but will it be enough to uh, win the race? We don't know. Oh, wow, this is going quite fast. I'm doing it 112 miles per hour. Uh, it doesn't have its chuffing sound. I think it's... I, th I, th I think my game might be slightly bugged, but, like, you know, I can actually live with that. I mean, it's just a bit weird, that's all. Um, for an engine that's got no chuff... Uh, or puff, uh, it's certainly going at some decent speed, isn't it? I'm mean, doing 121 miles per hour, and I think it's still uh, picking up some speed. Um, oh wow, this is this thing's really going. I mean, 123, 124, 125. Can it get to 126? Uh, it certainly looks like it. I'm mean, doing uh, Mallard's record at the moment, but no, I think it's going a lot faster than that. I think it's doing 100. I mean, I'm doing 131, and it is still picking up some speed. Wow, this is a this is amazing. Um, get like a nice cool shot. <laughs> but how are the others doing? Um, to be honest, the Princess class and you know the uh, the A3 class, they're designed for like speed. But I gotta be honest, they're not they're not as fast as the King class, or maybe they might pick up. I don't know. Um, Oh, but the, the, the princess class is definitely... Uh, how come all the trains I race with, all of them all of a sudden lose their puff? I mean, they've got, they've got no sound effects. Or maybe they're going too fast for their sound effects. I don't know. And there comes Flying Scotsman. Um, oh, wow. I'm actually not doing anything. I'm actually hands-free. And the camera is actually moving all by itself. That is... Uh, oh, I can't see a thing. Where am I? Let's have a quick little look on the mini-map. Let's see where we are. So we're there. And the king class is there. Princess class is there, and Flying Scotsman is there. That's um, that that. Uh, to be honest, I wasn't expecting that. I mean, how fast is the uh, the King class going? I mean, I'm I'm going to try and link speed, but we're about to go into the tunnel. So uh, brace yourselves. Uh, in the tunnel we go. Uh, oh, it's very dark in here. Doing about 180 miles per hour. Slow it down, maybe. Uh, oh, here we go. Uh, doing 145 miles per hour. Is it still speeding up, or is it um? Or is it stuck at a certain speed? I mean, doing 145. Just slow down just a little bit. 141, 142, 143, uh, 140. I think it's like 144, 143-ish. Like I'm trying to let's get to the actual uh, front of the train so I can actually like maybe try and link speed because um, I'm not actually doing a very good job, am I? Uh, no, I'm not. So uh, 150 miles per hour. And here comes the King class now. And I think we're just passing... Um, oh, no, we've passed it. We've passed the Dreamhouse farm already. Didn't even have a chance to say hello to the Dreamhouse farm, but never mind. Um, 147, 140, 143. They say about 143 something. Like I think that sounds about right. 143, 144 miles per hour. God, that's actually quite fast for a steam engine. 143. That is... Uh, that is super duper fast. But where are the others? Um, let's have a look. Um, 
Well, they're miles behind. Uh, oh, by the looks of it, uh, it looks like... Uh, no, it has! Flying Scotsman has overtaken the uh, the Princess class. In that case, I need to uh, apply my brakes and my head's just gone through the window. Well done, Oliver. Uh, put the Super Class 47 in reverse. He's like, you know, I've got to see this. This is actually, uh, this is actually quite interesting. I want to I wanna see this, guys. There's the Flying Scotsman. And the Princess class is... Uh, is in last place. Should have uh, should have been following the Scotsman at all times, but there you go. So how fast is she going? Oh, she's going way faster than the uh, than the King class. Because uh, <laughs> the King class was doing about 143-ish miles per hour. This is doing 156, maybe 155. I don't know, but this thing's going a, a lot faster than the King class. So let's have a look at our speed now, doing 156 miles per hour. We are perfectly linked up. Look at those wheels going around. That is just absolutely, like, amazing. Uh, but I think we're about to join uh, closer to Scotsman. Oh, no, we're moving further away from Scotsman. No! Um, can I see the King Class anywhere? I can see the King Class in the very far distance. There it is. Just like a tiny little dot. But I think Sc Flying Scotsman might be catching up to King Edward II. Yes! Oh, that is so cool. It's so weird that, like, you know, seeing Flying Scotsman doing this speed. I mean, can I see the Princess class? Oh, the Princess class is, like, miles behind now. If we actually have a look on the mini-map, uh, let's have a look. We are here. And where the King class is, is... Oh, I think, I think we might be catching up. It's actually quite funny how I'm going this fast and, like, the Flying Scotsman is not making any chuffing sounds whatsoever. Although, because it's going quite fast, I think I might have broken the sound effects because I don't think um, the sound effects are meant to go well I'm not sure uh, the sound effects can keep up with the speed that Scotsman is going I think like you know the thing that's why it's um the, the, the sounds are slightly bugged but I could just see in the distance we are certainly catching up to the uh the king class but um but maybe flying Scotsman might coming too slow or too fast at the end I, again i don't know what the results are I, I i never i never know what the results are when i do these races i do them at, i'm doing these races for the very first time so i don't know i don't know what to expect so a quick look on the mini map we are here and the king class is there but the big question is where is the princess oh the princess class is all the way back there that's not good. I'll tell you what else is not good as well. I've got a tremendous toothache right now. And every time I talk, it hurts so much. Um, I think I might need to go to the dentist because, like, you know, my tooth is in agony right now. And since, you know, being a YouTuber, I'm supposed to give out good advice. Uh, kids, if you're watching, make sure you brush your teeth every single day because you, you're going to end up like me with a massive toothache. My tooth hurts so bad. So now we're in the second tunnel, and let's have a quick look on the mini-map again. Uh, oh, I can actually see the King Class on the mini-map, and uh, we are certainly getting closer. I can't actually see it in the tunnel. Oh, yeah, I can. I can see it in the tunnel. It's just, uh, it's just exit the tunnel. But where's Flying Scotsman? I don't know. I just know that is going to be quite a close race. There's Flying Scotsman. Oh, it's looking amazing. Um, gosh, she's going really fast. She's really giving it the beans, isn't she? And, and you have to remember... The Flying Scotsman was built for... This is what she was built for. She was she was a speedy machine. And th these things are designed for high-speed runs. So, seeing, a, seeing the Flying Scotsman at this speed, it, it, it just it just works. So, looking at the results, uh, if we look in front of us, we can actually see the King class. And it is, this is such a close race. I mean, I can't believe how close this actually is. Like, you know, we could have a tie. Or is the King class faster than an A3? I mean, it shouldn't be, but um, if I just slow down a little bit, it, it, oh, this is going to be so close. But it looks like Flying Scotsman is about to overtake their king class, and it is. Oh, this is such a close. It's, a, it's, it's overtaken very slowly, but... Oh, wow, this is this is just so cool. I'm, I'm running out of reactions. I don't know what to say, but I want to get a really cool shot of... Um, of, like, these, uh, these three trains at speed. Um... Oh my god, this is amazing. So there's the King class, there's King Edward II. I think it's King Edward II. And the Flying Scotsman. <laughs> and I think uh, the train, uh, uh, both trains are starting to slow down because we are indeed approaching the finish line. I can actually see Flying Scotsman through the windows. That's actually quite funny. Um, oh no! Oh dear! I think Flying Scotsman is slowing down too soon and the King class is speeding up again. Oh no! Scotsman, you're slowing down too much. You are so close, Scotsman. You're about to take the lead. 
Oh no, Scotsman! Because you know, you guys got to remember, Flying Scotsman is my favourite steam engine in the world, and like you know, it does hurt a little bit when Flying Scotsman gets beaten in these uh, in these train races. But like you know, again, I'm very surprised that the uh, that the King class uh, is faster than um, than an A3 class. Learn something new every day. Oh, Flying Scotsman's got her sound effects back at last, but uh, I don't think. Um, I don't think Scotsman's won this, unfortunately. So what we'll do is we'll um, we'll leave the Superclass 47 there, and let's head over to the finish lines to see which one is going to stop first. I mean, I can't even see where the Princess class is. It's nowhere in sight, which is uh, is a bit sad. But who's going to win uh, out of Team uh, G uh, W R or Team L N E R? So Great Western or London Northern Eastern? Which one is going to come first? Who's going to stop first? It's very close, I think, by the looks of things. Um, yeah, I think the King Class, King Edward II, has stopped first. And in second place is Flying Scotsman, which is you know, a bit unexpected. And what I was not expecting that. I was not expecting a, a, a King Class to be faster than an, than an A3. I mean, I am shocked. Oh, and just in the distance uh, is the Princess Elizabeth, the Princess class in last place. Like, that is miles away. Um, gosh, just a tiny little dot. I mean, <laughs> I mean, I can I can just hear the the chuffing sound effects. If I if I if I shut up for a minute, I don't know if you can hear the. the it's, it sounds like a tiny little like bumblebee buzzing around this room or something. But there she is, the Princess Elizabeth. Um, well, that's, it's coming in at quite some speed though, but unfortunately, um, it just it just wasn't fast enough to keep up with um, Flying Scotsman or King Edward II. It is a bit of a shame, but like you know, it is, it is a lovely looking engine though. The uh, the Princess class is is so gorgeous. But here she is, uh, Princess Elizabeth in last place. That is a bit sad, but it still did. I still think it did very well. But which engine do you guys think is the best? Is it King Edward II, uh, the Flying Scotsman, or Princess Elizabeth? Leave your answer in the comment section down below. And I guess that concludes this video for today. So I uh, hope you guys did enjoy watching this video as I enjoyed making it. Uh, make sure you click the subscribe button, follow me on Twitter and Instagram. You don't have to, but the links are in the description if you want to. And thank you again so much for watching. Have a wonderful day, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye for now.